Welcome everyone to another G2C Meet the Provider session. My name is Shada Young and I'm the Recruitment Associate for Grad Fit Careers. And today we have Ms. Carter. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Joy Carter. I am a coordinator here at the Community College of Baltimore County. Great, so you mentioned CCBC. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. So we are a local community college, obviously in Baltimore County. We have multiple locations around the county on the west side and the east side. Um, and we think a lot about traditional uh, degrees when we think about college. However, CCBC has an entire division on the continuing education side devoted to workforce readiness, workforce training. And everything that I do has everything to do with how to help people gain marketable skills so that they can directly enter the workforce and have a successful career pathway. That's so awesome. Some of the programs that we offer, I'm sorry, um, I, I figured we would go into um, a couple of the programs that we offer here. Is that where we're going next? Sure. I'm excited too. Go for it. Go for it. Awesome. Awesome. So um, everything that we do here with Grads to Careers, um, we focus on healthcare. Um, right now, I'm actually in our CNA GNA lab. Um, the CNA GNA program is uh, partnered with the patient care technician training um, at CCBC. And it's um, essentially everything about learning to be a certified nursing assistant, um, supporting patients of different ages, um, as well as going to the next level with patient care technician um, so that you have the skills to be a little more clinical working in hospitals or ambulatory care facilities, um, learning how to not only care for patients, but also um, perform EKGs and um, venipuncture, things of that nature. If you love to help patients directly, really hands-on working with individuals, the CNA GNA patient care technician could be a great program for you. And I don't know if you see my friends in the background here, but we have a, a lab space that um, is set up just like what you would find in a nursing home facility or potentially a, even a hospital. That's like Some of the other idea. programs that we offer um, are the uh, pharmacy technician training. I would love to be in our pharmacy technician lab right now, but I am not seeming to get good Wi-Fi service in there. Um, but it's also set up very much like a pharmacy. Um, we have, you know, all of the drugs that you would find in a pharmacy, um, whether it be retail or in a hospital. And we also offer a medical front office phlebotomy training. Um, the medical front office is a more administrative aspect of healthcare, where individuals are going to be the front line, the face of a uh, healthcare setting, whether it be in a private physician's office or in the triage section of a hospital, where you're working with patients um, in terms of helping them with their insurances and inputting information in databases. Um, you're the person who's gonna be responding to those questions, answering the phone, sending emails. Um, but we also partner that medical front office training with phlebotomy so that there's still a clinical aspect for those who like to still be a little more hands-on with patients. And of course, phlebotomy is all about specimen collection, whether it's blood draws or urine samples, um, you know, anything that would need to be tested and sent to a lab is what a phlebotomist is typically responsible for doing. Awesome. You guys offer a lot of programs and I love that you guys take hands on to the next level when you have this whole setup behind you. That's cool. Um, why would a student choose CCBC over another program? Well, um, CCBC is a really awesome choice, because, not only because we are able to provide, you know, the hands-on training aspect of what uh, you come to us for initially, but you can spend, you know, the, uh, for the, the beginning of your career with CCBC. After you finish this training, after you connect with the workforce, you can return to, to the community college and seek a degree, you know, go a little bit further. There are so many other program options that are available and we're large enough that we um, have a lot of resources that we can uh, be supportive to our students. Um, but at the same time, we're small enough to really focus on 
each individual student and what their needs are. You know, we don't uh, lose sight of an individual just because, you know, we have, you know, multiple campuses. Um, we uh, definitely have, you know, room to grow. And I think that all of us are kind of looking for connection with whether it's employment or education, a place that you can begin and develop and move forward. And that's what CCBC offers. That's awesome. Can you talk a little bit about the culture there? Absolutely. So, you know, I'll say for me, I've personally been the type of person who maybe was on one of our larger campuses at Catonsville or at Essex. And I've seen students who are clearly lost. They have no idea where the building that they're trying to get to is. And the culture here is the type where it doesn't matter if it's the president of the college or a person like myself, um, we're going to connect with that student and we're gonna walk you to where you need to go. We're not going to just direct you and say, hey, you know, hang a right when you see, you know, that, no, we want to make sure that people feel welcome. Um, and it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Um, we are a collection of individuals from all you know, different types of backgrounds. And we respect you know, difference. And we understand that difference is kind of what makes us valuable as an institution, as well as a community. Um, we do see ourselves as a community partner. I know that we are the Community College of Baltimore County. It's in our name. However, we extend far beyond Baltimore County. Um, we you know, touch people from as far away as um, Prince George's County. Um, and certainly we appreciate and respect our partners in Baltimore City. Thank you for that. It sounds like a very welcoming place with lots of options and opportunities. As we wrap up, are there any questions that you hear students ask a lot that we can just go ahead and address on this recording? Um, well, you know, a, a lot of students ask questions like, is this really true? You know, or, or, or is this training really available? Do I really, you know, qualify? Can I really, you know, get all of what you're saying that I'm going to get um, with no monetary costs? And, um, you know, let's dispel the myth. It is true. Um, you know, we are here to be a resource provider, a community partner. And, you know, um, it's no monetary cost for students, but you know nothing is free. It's a cost of commitment, and that's something that we definitely focus on. Um, other questions that students might ask, um, it, you know, there's a variety of things. Um, you know, people ask questions about support services. You know, like, can you help me with transportation? Um, are you know, like, are um, can I get tutoring services? Um, what if I don't have a high school diploma? Um, so yes, we provide transportation assistance. If a, a student is looking like they are struggling and they need some additional assistance, we do um, you know, our best to partner them with the tutor, um, whether it be from a full class perspective or just on an individual level. Um, if an individual is still seeking their um, high school diploma, we do have an entire division dedicated to um, GED services, and it is at no cost. You know, most people qualify for it. It doesn't matter where you live. Um, so I, at top of mind, I think that those are you know, some of the major questions that I kind of get on a regular basis. I can imagine those are really important questions. Um, and I just want to reiterate, anybody coming through uh, G2C, it would be totally free for them as long as they're within the age range of um, 17 to start, but 18 at the program completion up to 21. And I'm glad you mentioned GED services. Sometimes people come to us and they can't um, excuse me, qualify for G2C by not having their high school diploma or GED, but it's good to know that they can go to CCBC and work on that. And um, they can either reapply for a G2C or they can come directly to your program. So thank you for mentioning that. Well, that wraps up everything I have. Is there any last words, any final thoughts you want to leave us with? Um, I will just say that, you know, I think that I can speak generally for the Community College of Baltimore County by saying that we're a bunch of tree huggers. Um, we uh, are smart enough to know that we alone cannot change the world, but we have so much passion that we never stop trying. 
So I hope that, you know, I can see some of you guys um, in the next, you know, a few months and be of service to you. I, I'm looking to be um, a servant to your needs. Great. Thank you. Um, thank you guys for joining us today. If you want any more information, you can visit www.bmoreg2c.com and you'll find out about the programs at CCBC and all of our other programs. And thank you for joining us. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.